I would like to make a simple public service announcement that not all sin is the same. People say that sometimes, but people almost certainly don't really think it. I doubt you really think it, because it's a stupid thing to think. Now, of course, this begs the question, what do we mean by sin? A personal favorite definition comes from the author Francis Bufford, who says that sin is the human propensity to F things up. Almost whatever definition you use, I guarantee you, this math works out pretty much the same way. In Catholic moral theology, there's a distinction between mortal and venial sins. For those of us in the Wesleyan tradition, Wesley had different categories of sin, largely based on intentionality. You don't have to be a fancy lawyer to know there's a meaningful distinction between manslaughter, second degree murder, more like a crime of passion, or first degree murder, in which there's premeditation. Legally, we make these kind of distinctions all the time. And yet there's a certain segment of Christians in particular that maintain this idea that all sin is somehow the same. And where precisely do we get this from? So the only thing I can imagine in terms of a text that people can use here is when Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount famously says that if a man looks lustfully at a woman, then he's committed adultery with her in the heart. Or Jesus will say that if someone looks at their neighbor with hatred, then they've committed murder in their heart. So the point here for Jesus, and Paul will make a similar move in the book of Romans, because New Testament in general kind of thunders home this point. If you attempt to adapt a posture of moral superiority, and deep down you know the only difference between you and someone else who's done these things is that you simply have not had the opportunity. Yeah, this is not a reason for judgment. You're not morally superior simply because you've not seized the opportunity, you've not had the occasion maybe to do the thing that really your heart has already decided that it wants to do. But Jesus levels the playing field so that we who share the same human condition are not able to adapt a posture of moral superiority. That is not the same thing as saying that all of this is the same because that would actually be insane. But here's where this bears out in real life right now in ways I think are actually dangerous. We know that unfortunately, uh, pretty much all politics involves a certain amount of deception. People are selective in what information they choose to highlight or not highlight, uh, where and how they use statistics, how they contextualize things, etc. Politicians tend to make exaggerated claims about all the things they're gonna do, all the things they will change, all the people they'll bring together. However, that's not the same thing as election denial. It's not the same thing as wholesale undermining the very systems and structures on which democracy are built. It's not the same thing as creating an alternate reality. Misinformation and disinformation are not the same thing. Intentionally, conscientiously, maliciously choosing to lie and manipulate information. It's obviously not the same thing in terms of a moral category as someone uh, over-promising and under-delivering. But there are a lot of Christians now who'll do some version of, well, everybody's got a little sin in their life. Everybody's told a little white lie here and there. So then there's no clear moral categories. There are no real distinctions between not sharing the whole truth or kind of the normal art of politics and intentional disinformation in ways that are wildly destructive to our neighbors, to ourselves, to the world. If you are a moralistic person and you think there are some behaviors that are naughty that people ought not to do, chances are deep down that you know there are plenty of things that you might not exactly approve of that aren't the same thing as someone breaking into your house and holding you and your family at gunpoint. Of course, there are moral categories and distinctions, and we desperately need them in times like these, especially when the difference is so vast between people who intentionally, and again with intent, not just spin, but actually turn the truth inside out in ways that disrupt our common life, and the sort of normal kind of artifice and performance that's typical to politics. These are not the same thing, and friends, all sin is not the same.